a lot of times you have to convert between one unit of concentration to another so let's do a couple of examples to kind of give you a feel for how that's done for example aqueous ammonia is often bought as a 30% solution by mass which has a density of 0.9 grams per milliliter. Let's take that mass percent and figure out what the concentration would be in units of molarity. So if you look 30 percent by mass means that you got 30 grams of ammonia per 100 grams of solution. Molarity means that you have so many moles of ammonia per liter as a solution. So looking at the concentration unit, unit that we're given and the concentration unit we want, looks like we'll have to convert grams of ammonia to moles so using its molar mass that gives us 1.76 moles and if we know the density which we do we can convert between mass and volume so 100 grams if the density is 0.9 gram per mil it's going to be a volume of 110 milliliters which is the same as 0.11 liters so if you look we have the number of moles of our solute we got the solution volume in liters all you have to do now is divide the two to get your molarity which turns out to be 16 molar so let's take that same 30 percent by mass solution of aqueous ammonia and convert that to a concentration that's in units of mole fraction So once again we'll start with the unit of concentration we have. So again 30 percent means that you've got 30 grams of ammonia per 100 grams of solution. Mole fraction you want the moles of ammonia over the total moles of the solution. So we've already got the moles of ammonia. We just calculated that and that was 1.76 moles. And if we assume that you know we just have pure ammonia solution which means it's just ammonia and water that 100 gram solution is going to be 30 grams of ammonia and 70 grams of water because we're assuming there's nothing else in the solution but ammonia and water So again, that's 1.76 moles. And 70 grams of water.
is 3.88 moles. So now we have the total moles of solution. Is that 1.76 moles of ammonia plus a 3.88 moles of water. So we take the moles of ammonia divided by the total and that gives us a mole fraction of 0.312. Remember it's unitless because the moles cancel out. So that gives you an idea of how to convert between units and notice in both cases we start with um, the concentration unit we're given try to figure out exactly what that means like for example percent is percent by mass is so many grams per hundred grams of solution remember what the unit of concentration you want to convert it to means and just kinda of go from there see how you can convert the numerator to the one you need and do the same thing for the denominator on the bottom